Morning and evening, maids hear the goblin cry. Come by our orchard fruits, come by, come by. Evening by evening, among the brookside rushes, Laura bowed her head to hear. Lizzie veiled her blushes. Crouching close together in the cooling weather, with clasping arms and cautioning lips, with tingling cheeks and fingertips, lie close, Laura said, pricking up her golden head. We must not look at goblin men. We must not buy their fruits. Who knows upon what soil they fed their hungry, thirsty roots. Thank you. 
no promise for love is such a delicate thing so fly away little pretty bird for He'd only clip your wings Fly far beyond the dark mountains To where you'll be free Early in the morning, when the first cock crowed his warning, Laura rose with Lizzie, Laura in an absent dream, one content, one sick in part, one warbling for the mere bright day's delight, one longing for the night. Dwindling seemed knocking at death's door. Then Lizzie weighed no more, better or worse, but put a silver penny in her purse. A twilight halted by a brook, and for the first time in her life, began to listen and look. <laughs> 